Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a how-to video on how to switch out these push switch on-off switches in, in lamps. This one, as you can see, if I screw the light bulb in, works fine, but the switch itself is no longer working. So I'm going to show you how to replace it step by step. First thing you want to do is go to the store and buy yourself a new push switch lamp socket. This will set you back probably about three bucks. Uh, and there are directions on the back of it, and they're pretty good, and they have a nice little diagram there. I'll take a picture of that, and I'll put it on the side. But uh, uh, not terribly difficult, but if you've never seen it done before or done it yourself, it's always nice to watch someone else for the first time. And uh, I'll take you through this step by step. Step one, of course, is to unplug it. There we go. We're safe. Power is off, we're safe. Let's take the light bulb out. Be careful, it may be hot. This particular type of uh, socket is a screw top, so I'm gonna undo this. Just righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Pull that off, we're gonna reuse this once we change this out. We've taken off the outer shell, and now I'm gonna lift this up. It's kind of secured with what they call a knot down there. And that electrician's knot, or the underwriter's knot, is there to help this thing uh, not be pulled either way through. And we're gonna wanna tie this if we don't have one already. So take a close look at that. If you don't have one in your lamp, it's been installed incorrectly. For this particular lap application, we're gonna replace this entire inter shell. We can, uh, we can try to break it apart, but what we're really going to do is just snip it here and here and we'll strip a little bit more wire off of there. So one of the tools you'll need is wire clippers. Clip it there. And this is destined for the uh, dump. Opening up the new one, we're not going to need all this stuff. We're just going to use the inside piece to replace what we just um, discarded. In this case, we don't need that bottom piece. We're going to pull this one down. And that's the piece we need, the push switch. So we don't need the cardboard insulator or this other shell. What we're going to do is just re-strip a little bit of wire so we have some bare wire to work with. Extend the underwriter's knot a little bit lower. So we're going to pull a little bit of this through, and it just tugs a little tension from some friction, but uh, we'll put this back in place and wire it up. To undo the knot, you just untie it, and that'll help us strip the wire a little bit more. And then using a common wire stripper tool, we're gonna strip a little bit more wire. Now that we've stripped away some of the insulation, we've got the bare wire, we're going to go ahead and tie our underwriter's knot again. And then we're going to form our wire in two kind of a candy cane shapes or hooks like this. And we're going to make sure that we put it under here in the direction that we're going to tighten it. I'm going to try to get a little tighter view here for you. See how I made that hook right there? I'm going to put it on like that so that when I tighten the screw, it'll keep that shape nice and tight. Flip it around, do the same thing on the other terminal in the direction of the tightening turn is what I want. That feels better. And now I have all this extra wire here, so I'm gonna to go to the bottom and pull this. And as I pull this, you'll see this will shorten up. Here we go. There we go. Keep pulling. Then I'll twist this so the switch goes down to those switch grooves from earlier. Right there on either side. One more pull. And 
And now we just put the tops back on. I've got that cap for this particular lamp. Make sure I don't cross thread it. There it goes. We have light and test it. Okay, so that's all we really have to do. Now we just have to snug it back on, put the put the uh, shade on. But it, it's it's about a five minute job, start to finish. The tools you'll need are probably a wire clippers, a screwdriver, and a wire stripper. And usually the wire strippers have a wire clipper in them too. So really just the two tools. And about five minutes work and about three bucks and you can have a brand new switching operating properly lamp. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.